Hello, footy tippers. Preliminary final time. Grand final playoff. Call it what you will. The bottom line is Hawthorne, Geelong, Fremantle, Sydney playing off for a spot in the big dance next Saturday. Mark Dragosevich alongside Russell Barwick to have a look at the Hawkers and the Catters. And it just takes you back. Isn't it? the last decade, they've dominated things. Uh, 11 in a row for the Cats. Look, yep. we, can, we can talk about the Kennedy curse, but oh, to it's be honest, there. It's, it's, there. It, it's there, but I'll tell you when it is there. 25 minute mark of the last quarter if it's close. That's it. Not before the game. They're too professional. Mate, I disagree. I reckon it's there for the uh, entire week because every can you person, hear, every person who walks out there and says, there is no Kennedy curse, just needs to look back at the last 11. Okay. They've lost games that they should have won since Jeff Kennett mouthed off and said they'll never beat us. Look, I, and Paul Chapman said they'll never lose against them. So uh, it was uh, it's a, an amazing call. I hope it's as close as it has been. I think uh, two games have been decided by over 10 points in those 11. So mm. uh, for the fans' perspective, let's hope it's the same. Who do you think will win? I'm actually going to go <laughs> with the curse. Geelong. Geelong are going to... Uh, you know I, what? I agree with you. I just think they got it over Hawthorne. They match up well. Um... For the Hawks, they have to actually force Geelong to uh, play wide. If any team can do it and uh, clog up the middle of the ground and force them to kick the ball high as well, um, the Hawks can do it. I think if Hawthorne stay with Geelong, they'll they'll outrun them in the end. But yes. if the Cats can get off to a flyer, and that's been their problem the last fortnight against uh, Port Adelaide and, of course, uh, previously, they will struggle. Yeah. But if they happen to get off to a... Uh, a flyer, then the Hawks might struggle to stay in touch. Well, the best thing about Geelong is their two key defenders can stop Hawthorne's two key forwards. I think two games this year, Rufford's only kicked three goals. And, mm. you know, Franklin uh, coming back from injury. Look, the Hawks get back Rioli as well with a bit of speed. So that's Motlop and Rioli. They sort of uh, cancel each other out. It's, oh, it's going to be a great game in the middle of the grand. Zone. Well, the physicality that they had against Frio a fortnight ago and Port on the weekend was more than what Hawthorne had against the Swans a couple of weeks ago. So it'll be interesting to see how this one pans out. On the flip side, uh, the Swans have run out of petrol tickets, one would think. <laughs> no Tippett, no Mitchell. Uh, yes, Jetta gets a game under his belt and surely they can uh, wangle a few things. Rossi line up against uh, Johnny Longmire's salivating, but Frio just look up and about and fresh, and this is their moment. Frio's preparation has been second to none. You yeah. know, you couldn't ask for a better preparation coming into a prelim final. The Swannies just uh, just getting there, getting there. Look, they played Carlton. Let's uh, let's they were just fantastic, take that into account. But Carlton were ninth. Carl Carlton are officially ninth. So uh, you know, <laughs> big open ground. It's, it's the You're best thing about the Swans is they've got midfield depth to go with the Dockers. But I just think they've played something like 500 odd minutes on average more than the uh, Fremantle midfielders. Yeah, and they're just going to run. I'm not out a of mathematician, but that's last, a lot of hours. Yeah, in the last uh, 20 minutes, it might just get a bit. And Sydney don't have the capacity to come from behind, I don't think. Uh, whereas Fremantle just might. So, yeah. looking at uh, Draggers and particularly my tips on the weekend, as much as I hate to say it uh, for Swanies fans, going like against myself, them. Got to go against them. I can't, uh, you know, if you're going to be honest with yourself, Jeez, you, I hope they win. Now, heart actually. is with Sydney, but the head is with Fremantle, and equally. <laughs> Uh, I think Geelong are just going to get it over them, this Kennet curse. I can't get it out of my mind. So we're yep. tipping, uh, both of us are tipping a Fremantle Geelong grand final. I don't think too many people would have thought that a few months ago. No. We'll wait and see how it all pans out. Centibet.com, if you think you agree with us or you disagree with us, and we'll see if a grand final week preview next week here on footytips.com.au.